Insomnium. Neil from Insomnium. Uh, Marcus, the, the sh this album is uh, the first uh, record where you were involved, uh, I guess, right? Yes, that's correct. Uh, and uh, for you personally, how, how does it feel that you can, could add more from your side to the band? How was the process for you? Was it easy to come in and... Yeah, it was pretty natural and easy and as I've known the guys like maybe 10 years or something and I knew the band from beforehand really well and so I basically knew what's happening in some new camp so it was quite easy to jump on board. How did you meet the band? How did, how did it happen? So we're in the metal fields of Playing Finland. the same shows. Omnium Gatherum and Insomnium. Because Insomnium is from Joensu uh, and uh, Omnium Gatherum is from Kotka and quite a bit of distance. Yeah, but then I moved to Kotka like seven years ago and we got to know better I and I still like Finnish. Basically all Finnish metal bands know each other somehow. Did you manage to try some Russian kind of food or anything while you were here? We're gonna get something in. We just had a soon. <laughs> just had a Russian breakfast there in the backstage, and we had some glass of Ruski standard vodka. So you ate vodka. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, how did you manage the North America tour last recently? I mean, did it when did it go well enough with this replacing and all this sort of things happened? Yeah, it was. In the end, it was really good tour and. It was success. Unfortunately, Nilo wasn't there because of some yeah, I, I know. accidents. But but we managed pretty well to save what we could save. And unfortunately, that was first headliner tour in USA. So strange start for headlining tours. But you handled we managed. it. Stranger things have happened. What are the other instruments for you to express yourself other than words? If you try to speak with heart, words sometimes are not enough to say... Fist. Fist. <laughs> <laughs> music. Apart from music, because this is your main activity, what else is close to you during the daytime or daily life activity? Something that... How about hugging? Some producers uh, I was talking with uh, in Finland, they say that they are still looking for the ideal sound which would express their view of uh, understanding music. Uh, for you as musicians and uh, composers, you, have, you, have you found, uh, have you made the songs which express what you had in mind? Basically, usually when you are composing a song, it repre represents that time frame of your life exactly that time frame so that's the sound of that time so I cannot say any particular song but I found myself the songs are always like mm, pathways in composing you invent some new stuff and you compose the song then it's the pathway to another song and that's how the music evolves so for example the end of Broad Black something that well, it's a song that I have done, so it has a special meaning to me and uh, feels special to play it live. But, uh... Markus, have you ever thought to write lyrics for a song? Because you, you are not mentioned as lyrics writer anywhere. I tried to do some city rock lyrics to my rock project, Blue but even that was complete shit, so <laughs> I trust these guys who can do it. A song called uh, the Promethean song from the last album. Uh, it says, ask guidance from the sun and directions from the moon. Uh, for you, how you understand this? My idea with the song was that, that some people are trying to look for the answers from the higher powers, from the gods or whatever, but that's not where they're gonna find it, that everybody should find it themselves. And that's Inside. That's the basic idea. Is it hard? Is it harder than getting something on the plate? <laughs> Well, depends on the people. So yeah, for some people it works. Religion works for some people. But for others, 
And so, so, is it an interesting trip for you, like a journey inside yourself, but not outside somewhere to look for ready answers? Is it your way of? Well, it's definitely my way. Yes. Could you uh, take this out, and Marcus, could you close your eyes? <laughs> Don't worry, it's very normal. You know me already by that very previous normal. experience, so I'm quite <laughs> positive. You are original. Yeah, just keep your eyes closed and okay. Milo will do something. And open your mouth. <laughs> Can I open my eyes? <laughs> Can he open? Yes. Almost perfect. <laughs> yes. Come on, Marcus. <laughs> yes. Can you see Marcus? <laughs> Great. <laughs> Thank you. You have to wear this shirt. The whole tour you have Thank to wear. You, sir. Thank you. <laughs> what a fine shirt. Surplus man. Today it's gonna be the first time. In some new ever place in St. Petersburg. Today is the first day for me ever in St. Petersburg, so really looking forward to this day. So far, the city is looking really nice. And you're having a really cool search here and we may get electricity and play the show and we'll come back soon to Russia.